Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are a 10 minute talk that give a high level overview or an in depth look at a small portion of a PHP related topic. Lightning Talks are a great, great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long time speakers to test drive a new talk idea. If you'd like to give a 10 minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now we have Brandon Savage and he's going to be talking about ACLs and object oriented applications. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Brandon some feedback. Brandon, I'm going to set you as a presenter and take it away. So uh, I came up with this idea of a little, bit of a little lightning talk to give on, on um, object-oriented applications and authentication, largely based on the fact that I've gone through a lot of times and built an application, and then it was beautiful and perfect, and then somebody says, yeah, well, what about users that are logging in? And so this talk could aptly really be named, where the do I put the auth? Because in a lot of times, that's a real struggle for people and for developers to figure out where in the application architecture, authentication, rights management, and those things exist and, and are managed. So typically what happens is that a developer comes up with some kind of an architecture, and typical frameworks look something like this, where the request comes in, the request gets routed by a router of some kind, and then the front controller takes the route information that's passed back in some form from the application. The front controller then turns that into a command, which it, it invokes the application controller. The application controller then talks to the model. And then, of course, you can imagine the other side of this, which is the response comes back and the uh, you know, model returns to the controller, which then works its way back up the stack. The problem here is, what about the authentication? Where, where does this belong in our application? Because we've got this beautiful linear model that we've constructed of an MVC application, but we don't have authentication or access control anywhere in this application right now. They're kind of, you know, we've ignored them up until this point. Where most people tend to stick this is they tend to put it here in the application controller. So you'll see a lot of times people will say, oh, well, let me check to see if the user's logged in in my controller. And, oh, let me check to see whether or not the user has the rights in, in the controller. And what ends up happening is that the, the application controller itself gets very, very large. It, ex, it kind of expands in size. And you can see that I've, I've drawn the bigger one, bigger diagram, simply to hold the... Uh, the, the boxes, but this also happens in your application where now instead of just your controller passing information between various components, it's actually now responsible for doing a whole lot of other things that really don't belong there. So the begs the question, okay, if it's not supposed to go in the controller itself, then what do I do with it? And there is a better solution to this problem. And the solution that I've come up with and that I use in my own applications is instead of putting it in the application controller, what I'll do is I'll put it as part of uh, the request as it makes its way through. And I'll actually break it into two pieces, which is why you have authentication and access control split. Authentication is, is the user logged in? So authentication is no more than a check to see whether or not the user's object exists and whether or not the route the user is requesting requires that the user be logged in. So at my router level, I simply check to see whether or not a user has a user object and a session already started in the system. If the user does have a session started in the system, then it'll, it'll also check uh, to see whether or not it's the right kind of user. So you can have different, different kinds of users for your application depending on, on how it behaves. If this check fails, the router should, and mine does, redirect to an authentication page. You know, that, that's pretty typical. Log the user in when they submit, log them in, and then send them on their way. But the access control piece is still out there. So access control is whether or not the authenticated user has the right to do something. So whether or not the authenticated user has the right to create something or delete something or modify something. And especially in enterprise software and things like that, you have a lot of cases where the users are access controlled or where they need to somehow be managed from being able to do certain things, like add other users or, or modify other users. So there's an admin section, that kind of stuff. In those cases, the access control really belongs as part of the model. It's not something that belongs as part of the front controller. It's something that belongs as part of the model. 
so where you put your access control is uh, largely a function of how your model is, is constructed, and I, I don't have a diagram that describes that. But in terms of knowing that the, the check to us whether or not the user is logged in actually takes place in the router, and then the check to whether or not the user actually has those rights is based in the model. So I'm going to show you a little bit of code that I've written for some of the projects that I do that kind of illustrates this point. Now, I can really only illustrate the router side of things because for most of my stuff, it's either you're logged in or you're not. But I'm going to show you how the router works, and that should take up the majority of the rest of my time. Somebody pinging me in IRC here. Okay. So let's take a look at the code that I've written. So I've written a, a router that I've based on uh, loosely on Aura. Uh, the Aura framework, uh, and I've written kind of a router manager. And the way this works is that my router manager has uh, accepts various auth types. So I have an interface, and my interface um, is basically an interface that controls whether, you know, that basically does the check to see whether or not uh, the user is authenticated and then sets a redirect path for cases when the user is not. So I'll register these at the beginning of the application when it's running, and I, I have them set up. Um, I have the, I have them set up in another file, which I'm not going to pull up at the moment. But uh, I have this set up so that when I pass this in, I can check numerous types of users or, or numerous levels of, of users just at the um, at the auth check stage. So I can have an admin section that has a whole different set of, of user credentials that's not stored in the same database and still check those. And then when the request actually is run and we determine the routing, it determines whether or not the uh, it actually requires authentication and then ver validates that it does. And it intelligently decides and actually switches the route object from the requested object to the redirect page. So let's say you request some resource that is in fact behind the authentication screen. Well, rather than actually do a 301 or 302 redirect, what we do is we actually just take the route object for that login page and present it uh, as the route object that was requested. So this is smart enough to not you know, redirect you, and then also it's smart enough to redirect you back. Um, so that's pretty much how I do authentication in applications. Very short, very sweet, to the point. There we go. All right. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email joe at nomadphp.com. Please make sure you visit Joined In and leave Brandon some feedback.